Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate you this package, Laravel Fast Refresh Database, which will help you to run your tests faster in some cases. So what it does is adds a trait called Fast Refresh Database, and I will demonstrate you how it works, also improving my own tests in one of my previous courses. So in one of my courses about building Laravel API, as part of building API, there was automated tests with PHP unit, and the tests are pretty simple authentication test, parking test, profile, vehicle, and zone, mostly depending on Laravel model and CRUD operations with those. And in every test, we have use refresh database, which means that test case works with database, and we need to run migrate fresh on each of those test cases. And that may be slow. So that's what this package is trying to solve, at least in one of the cases. Also, I will show you lazily refresh database and what does it actually mean. But before I'm showing those things, let's refactor those tests and have refresh database in the base test case. So in all of those individual tests, I have use refresh database everywhere. And I don't have any feature tests that don't use refresh database. So why repeat ourselves? Instead, we go to our test case, which is public, it's not in vendor, and we just add refresh database here, and then we can remove that in all of those separate classes, like this. So five classes, no refresh database anymore here, like this, and let's relaunch our tests. PHP artisan test. 15 tests passed, two seconds. So that's our first kind of refactor, by the way, along the way is just moving your refresh database to the main test case. Next thing, we can change refresh database to so-called lazily refresh database, which comes from Laravel framework, from Laravel 8, from what I remember. What it does, it would exclude the tests that don't actually use the database. In my case, and in most of my cases in practice, all the feature tests basically interact with database most of the times. If they don't, it probably may be a unit test. But if you do have those cases, instead of refresh database, you can do lazily refresh database. What it would do is would refresh database specifically on the first occasion of database operation. So if some of your tests doesn't have anything with the database, migrate fresh will not be executed. So that again may make your tests a bit faster. And now this package that I've shown you, fast refresh database, I've installed it already. Installation is very simple, just compose a require and that's it. And all you need to do is change refresh database or lazily refresh database to fast refresh database here. Fast refresh database from the package. And then we don't need those two anymore. Now what happens, migrate fresh will happen only if your database has changed since the last time you run PHP artisan test. This will work only in some cases. For example, if in PHP unit XML you don't use in memory database, but you use real database, real MySQL, why would you do that? It's debatable. I prefer to run the tests on the same database engine as I have local and live to avoid any random differences between how different database engine works. For simple projects, it's totally fine to use SQLite and memory, but for bigger projects, especially using some functions of database engine itself, it's better to be consistent and use MySQL. So you create a separate testing database, empty database, and all those tests will be run on that database. So in that case, that package will check whether that database, its structure is different from your latest Laravel migration files. At least that is how I understood that package. Let me demonstrate. So if we rerun PHP artisan test again on MySQL database with that fast refresh database, we have 166, which is roughly the same two seconds. And what happens then in your file tree, you will notice a file storage app migration checksum txt. So next time you run PHP artisan test on the same database, it will actually compare whether you have new migrations compared to the database. If you do, then it will run migrate fresh. But if we don't, for example, let's just rerun PHP artisan test again without any changes. See the time 086, which means it didn't run the migrations. It's working with the same database without refreshing it. But now let's try to add some migration, make migration add something to 
users table and then we open that migration table string something whatever that doesn't matter nullable to users table and then let's clear it up and let's rerun php artisan test again it will again go back to 160 seconds because now it runs migrate fresh again it should be faster again 08 so it cuts it by half of course any benchmarks depend on the real scenario in my case it's a very simplified test case test suite but especially if you have bigger migrations that may significantly speed up your testing what do you think about this package would you use it or maybe you have some other tricks how to speed up your automated tests then share them in the comments below and if you are new to testing in general i have a few courses on my laravel daily com courses if we scroll down there's a test laravel testing for beginners or if you want more practice with more advanced cases like mocking and testing external apis there's also advanced laravel testing it's all available to Laravel Daily Com members, so subscribe to that membership, support this channel by doing that, and see you guys in other videos.